Hello everybody, welcome back to a bit of a different video. Um, I have been asked um, during a live stream and I've had a message in Discord as well, basically asking me to do a quick video on how I installed the mods. Now there are tons of videos out there, um, but I was asked and yeah, I'll, uh, I'm happy to do it. So this is specifically for Stationers and I'm using Windows. Um, the installation steps are somewhat the same for Linux, um, but I am not going to go through that. I'm basically going to show you what I did to get my mods working, and that is it. <clears throat> um, I'm running Windows 11, not that it matters. Uh, this will work on Windows 7 and above, so that's absolutely fine. And obviously, we're going to be modding st Station is. Um, yeah, let, let, let's get to it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to navigate to this site now i'll put a link of this link to this in the description um but yeah just just navigate to here and this is basically a mod loader for stationers it allows you to configure um the mods um from the load uh, from the loading menu not massively important not necessarily needed but um it, it gives you kind of like a visual idea that your mods are loading <clears throat> And to be honest, this page literally gives you step by step what you need to install the mods. But we'll go through this. So what I've done is I have uninstalled Stationers. I've cleared out my mods folder and we are basically doing this from scratch. We'll do it together and we'll hopefully see that it works. Once you're at this site, uh, just scroll down and obviously you've got the instructions. And the first thing you need to do is download Bifidex. Um, so I'm going to click on this link and we're obviously going to get our uh, download file which you can see here, um, pretty self-explanatory. <clears throat> and what we need to do is we need to extract that into our Stationers uh, root folder. To get that, and I use Steam, so this is how I'm going to be getting to it. If you don't use Steam, there are other ways of getting Stationers. Um, you'll want to find wherever you've got that locally installed. On Steam, pretty simply, find your game, go to right-click, manage, browse local files. Um, this is your station is directory um, and basically we want to extract our new download into this location so I've got my Bipinex download and I'm going to right click and I'm going to extract or you, you may have something like WinZip or 7zip or whatever I've just used the standard uh, Windows um, extracting tool and I'm going to extract all and then when you get the pop-up, you're basically going to want to uh, browse to your station's location, which is obviously going to be here. So if I select folder, click extract, you'll see now that we've got a new folder in here, plus we've got four files as well. So these bottom files here are all part of that, uh, that folder, which obviously you can verify by going into your uh, uh, compressed folder. And you can see that all it's done is just put those files into there. Job done. Um, that's pretty much it for Bipinex. Um, now, if you go back to the steps, uh, it'll kind of tell you there, obviously, that you've got the uh, the folders, which we have. Uh, we can actually go back to where we were. Uh, let me paste that back in. Uh, and you can see, obviously, it tells us that we're expecting a Bipinex folder and doorstop config. There's the doorstop config, and there's the folder. So what you're going to do is just run the game once. So let's run Station Is. Um, all being well, this shouldn't take too long to open. Um, you're not really going to see much uh, at this point, to be fair. And if you wanted to, you could leave it here and you're pretty much good to go. But we are going to go and install the launch pad as well because we get a little bit of information on the screen, which you can also use to configure some of the mods. Uh, from this screen. So, as soon as Station has done its thing, so ignore what you saw at the bottom. Basically, I, I still subscribe to mods in the workshop, so it's loaded them in. But for now, I, you wouldn't have got that. So, once the game is open, close the game. All right, go back to uh, the website. And on here, you will see a option for Launchpad. So we're going to navigate to that. 
and we're going to just download the latest one. So if you're not, uh, if you, if you're new to GitHub, then you can click on the little latest button. Um, there are sometimes options for beta. Try to avoid them. Uh, just do the latest. I'm going to click on here, and then in here you can see obviously we've got different options. Um, you've got options for client, server, and then this one. Uh, this is the one that I'm going to install. So if you're on Windows, select this one. The version number might be different depending on when you're watching this, but yeah, this is what I'm going to click on. Uh, and there we go. We've got a uh, spectator, uh, got to say, Stationer's launchpad installed. Uh, well, downloaded, I should say. So what we're going to do <clears throat> is we're also going to extract this. Again, if you go back to the site that we've been watching, uh, following, you are going to extract this into the Bipinex plugins folder. So if we go back to our Stationer's directory, you've got Bipinex. And you've got plugins. We're going to extract it here. So I'm going to copy and paste that folder location. Go to my downloads. I'm going to extract this. And we're going to put it into that, that Bipinex uh, folder. Just here. Select folder, extract. Um, and that's it. And that is basically all we need to do. You don't need to touch anything in here. Just leave it as it is. Job done. And now we should be able to launch the game. The difference this time, or being well, is you should get some information at the bottom of the window. As you can see here, you can see that it's loading the mods. And what you can do is you can click on this menu if you want to, to go into the configuration. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I've never done that. I just know you can. You don't need to for the sake of this. Um, basically, at this point, just wait and ensure that the game opens, which it should do in a second. Any second now. I would cut this, but I want you to see that I'm not doing anything. There's no secrets here. You see the game loading, so I'm not going to cut any of this out. It's going to be a relatively uh, short video. And there we go. Our game's open. Didn't have any errors. Good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close it once more. And now you need to go and get yourself some mods. So the way I do this is just going through the workshop on Steam. <clears throat> and in here basically search for the mod you want to so at the moment i've got the tube mod installed um i can search for tube so if you've never used steam workshop you literally go into the mod uh click subscribe here uh, so if i click unsubscribe for example if you've never subscribed to this you'll see this button uh very simply hit subscribe and there it will uh, relaunch them the next time you open the game and that's it so what we can do, for example, is let's go back and let's find the letters mod. Uh, this one. And I'm going to subscribe to this. Right, it's, it's that easy. Um, so now that we've subscribed to that mod, we go back to our library. Uh, it validated. So now click play. And we should see all the information down here loading again. All is good. Everything's working. Perfect, and yeah, and what happens is your mods will update automatically um, unless you go and change it in the configuration. I'm not getting into that. Uh, go and have a play. It's not something I've done. I've literally just took it out of the box, installed it, got my mods, and I'm off. I, I haven't touched any configuration on any of the mods. Uh, if you're more advanced, go ahead. Uh, for me, just, it, just subscribing, them, subscribing to them as they are is enough for me. So... What we should be able to do now is, and then you can see, look at the bottom, letters mod was there. Uh, when you're in the game, you can go to workshop and you can see all the mods that I have installed. Um, you can deselect them if you want to um, or select them. Uh, certain mods will matter on the order. Uh, for all of these, they, they don't. So these are fine. The core, you can't uh, disable that. That's, that's the game. Um, obviously, if you disable the game, the game will not work. You can't actually do that. Um, if you ever make any change in here, so if you ever untick or tick anything, just restart the game just to avoid any issues. Um, and then, yeah, you should be good to go. Be very mindful of <clears throat> building something. So, like, for example, the tube mod uh, allows you to you get access to new structures. If you place them in the game, 
then disable the mod. Just bear in mind those structures will not exist, and you may get uh, some errors. So just bear that in mind. Um, but long story short, let's load into a test world. <clears throat> And let's just check that the letters mod is working. The other ones, I'm confident they will be, but the letters mod we've just installed for the first time. So, really bog standard. And if you don't recognize this place, this was where we did the uh, video for the PID controller. But uh, long story short, if we search for letters, we can see that they're installed, they're available to us. I can click on this or click on this. And as you can see, we've got our letter mod installed. Uh, so if we just quickly go and place some somewhere, if you never use this mod, basically just massive letters. Uh, so we can go dot Y, A, Y. Yay, we did mods. Uh, and that is pretty much it. That is all you've got to do. Um, you d like I said, you don't need the launch pad, but I would do it because it just gives you a visual benefit that you can see something is working. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much installing mods. Um, I'm not an expert by any means. Uh, I'm, if, if you have any problems, I'm probably the worst person to ask. Cause I, I don't know. I've never had any issues. It just works for me. Um, this is just a video to show you what I did and how it worked for me. And that is it. So hopefully this helped. If it did, let me know. If it didn't, let me know. And I will catch you in the next video. Take care. Bye.